Hey guys, Melinda here. So, a week ago today, I went to my very first club, and it was interesting. I had been preparing this for at least a couple weeks in advance. Like, I got a dress, I got my heels ready, like, I had everything set because it was my first time and, like, I wanted to make sure everything, like, went smoothly. I was very caught off guard by how smoothly it went. So I went to Hakkasan here at MGM Grand in Las Vegas and let me tell you, it's actually a really cool place. Let me break it down by everything that like happened to me. So I'm standing in line like getting ready to go into the club and like the, fir the very first thing obviously that they're gonna do is card everybody to make sure that they're 21 and that they can legally enter this club. I did get carded but like very quickly like he like just took up my license like looked at it for a second and then put it down and gave it to me he's like you're all set and I'm like did you even look at my birthday like or did you just look that it was me like and the next thing is that once you get your your ID checked and you can like go on or whatever the next thing is that security is supposed to like do like the, the wand make sure you're not carrying anything I had a purse with me so I thought maybe they would want to look into my purse and but the security guard just waved me on he was like go ahead but he was like stopping all of the guys in that moment it made me realize that Vegas I don't want to say a sexist but definitely like treats the ladies not as thorough as the guys like the guys they hardcore look at their license make sure that everything is good and they will they will like do the wand on you at security they will pat you down if they feel if they feel like it's necessary i don't know if this goes for every woman but for me they barely looked at my license and i just walked past security like i i don't know what happened there i of course i probably had like a scared look on my face just because this was my first club and i wasn't exactly sure what to do but they just let me go anyway get past that the next thing you do is that you get into this giant elevator. It looks like a fright elevator. There's a guy in there that's just, his job is literally to push the floor buttons. We're on floor one and he hits five. And I'm just like, what is on floor five? Like what? And we get up there, the doors open and you're just blasted and bombarded with loud music. You walk out onto this floor and you're on the second floor of the club you're on this upper deck the environment was just so cool like i just had to take a second to like take it all in like wow i'm actually in a club so i take the stairs down to the first floor and i'm just kind of like down there for a second they don't really have a dance floor in hakasan or if they did i didn't really see it just because it was so crowded in there tiesto was the dj that night so that probably didn't even help that meant that a lot more people were going to want to go there you can't really dance in there either like i learned that you are given this box maybe not even that big of a box but you're given this box that you can like literally like bounce a little to the right and bounce a little to the left maybe to the front a little bit and maybe to the back a little bit but that's all the room that you get or else you're going to be invading somebody else's box around you and that first of all terrifies me because I've always been one that like I personally love my personal space unless like I'm like really close to you then I really don't mind but with strangers I usually just like at least a little bit of room but no I was like literally just <sighs> huddled up against myself because I was like I don't want it. I'm sorry I, I don't want to. oh god okay <sighs> I was down there for a little bit just kind of like getting a feel for the environment but where I was standing was like in the middle of a walkway so people were constantly walking by me which was just kind of like a mood killer because it's like I want to like sort of be dancing wiggling at my finger doing the sprinkler whatever I just want to be doing that by myself but it, it's hard when you get interrupted by somebody putting their hands on your shoulder, like, trying to get by, and it's just like, don't touch me, I'm blah, blah. But so I was down there for a little bit, and then I just go back up to the upper deck, and I just kind of stay up there, because it was not that crowded. I at least had, like, a good chunk of an area for, like, around me to have space. I was good. Like, it was good. I spent a couple hours there. Time passed really fast and I didn't think it would. I had one drink. It was just really fun. It was nice. It was interesting. <laughs> what I thought was really cool is that in the video that I'm showing you right now, you can kind of see the sparks. And I, I just would assume that, like, when you were celebrating something and you tell them, they go out of their way. They had a marching band and they just, like, bring you this giant bottle of champagne. And, like, I thought it was really cool. If any of you guys are out there and you want to celebrate, like, a birthday or something in... Las Vegas and Hawkeson, I for sure know that they will give you a drumline and sparklers and really hot girls to deliver a bottle of champagne to you. I wouldn't mind going back to Hawkeson. It was definitely a lot smaller than I imagined, but like again, I 
I only had like this expectation of what like a club was like. I had no idea because this was my first time being there. But I will admit that I had a lot of fun for my first time and I can't wait to go back. I have like some friends who want to go to Hakkasan so I would probably go with them and just like have a good time. I think I would probably avoid like big name DJs being there just because it automatically makes it that much more crowded and tickets are a little bit more expensive. Hakkasan was a really fun club. I do recommend it if you come to Las Vegas and you want a club to check out, definitely recommend it. Super fun, super cool. I had a ton of fun. So that was my first club experience. I guess that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. It would absolutely mean the world to me. And hit that subscribe button if you're not already and you want to see more content. I'm going to be posting every single day for the 100 video challenge and this is day 16. So we are coming up on day 20, which I actually have something really exciting planned for you guys for that day. And I'm hoping you guys like it. So. Stick around for that. Check out my other videos if you haven't seen them. But that's it for this video, so I will see you guys tomorrow in the next video. Live life, always laugh, and enjoy the journey. Bye.